so here we are going to mainly discuss questions on your hosting different questions that generally asked during the interview on the concept of hosting okay as you've already understood what is hosting in my previous video if not the link is in the description please go ahead and check this video because you need to understand the concept before answering the questions okay now very first question that i am asking here is explain the scope of temporal dead zone okay so question number one this is on the snippet driven uh, how we generally categorize where there is a code snippet given and we want you to analyze that code and answer the given question so this is a seasoned interviewer who generally takes interview they will have their own set of uh, code snippets which is a generally show it to the candidates during the interview if it's a virtual they will share it if it's a real they can show it on their monitors and they will ask you to interpret the code and come with the answer okay now let's see uh, what is my question here my question is quite straightforward. I want you to answer in the given snippet where the temporal dead zone starts, where is actual temporal dead zone and where the temporal dead zone ends and which is the statement or which line exists outside the temporal dead zone. This is my question. Okay. So I, I believe you already aware what is temporal dead zone. Okay. Uh, now I want you to answer this question. So let's make it simple. If you are not aware uh, or if you know the answer, then mention the question that is question number one and put your answer in YouTube comment section. Why I'm asking this is uh, if I if I still if I'm the only one who is explaining the video becomes one sided. If you um, uh, if you mention the answers, then it will become interactive. OK. Now, uh, let, let me answer this question. OK, for those of you who haven't uh, who are not fully sure of it. OK. Basically, we have created a variable with a keyword a uh, let and the variable name is let where uh, this example is straight away taken from developer.mozilla.com. OK, uh, mostly I refer all examples from developer.mozilla.com because that's a single source of truth. Anywhere in the world, if you see a video or a documentation that was written on any JavaScript topic, it is directly either taken from the developer.mozilla.com or referenced internally to any other documentation. So I generally go and straight away check in the developer.mozilla.com. I suggest you also do the same. Now, this is the statement where uh, line number six is we are declaring the variable let var, which actually get hoisted to the top of this block. That is in this case now line number five. Here, temporal dead zone starts. Okay, where the temporal dead zone ends. Basically, whenever you de define the value or initialize the value to a variable, then the temporal dead zone will end. Okay. What is the reason of temporal dead zone between the start and end? This is the temporal dead zone. Actual temporal dead zone is this. So no matter how many lines of code you write in this, uh, this entire region will be a temporal dead zone for variable let var. So you will not be able to access the variable of let var there. Okay. So this was my question number one. Uh, where I've answered it. If you have also answered in the comment section, I'll reply back to your comments. I'll try to reply back to your comments. Okay. Now I'll ask the second question. So second question on the snake, same snippet. So I'm not changing the number here. So second question is what is the output of this program? So if you know the answer again, do the same thing. Mention your answer on the comment. Okay. I'll execute it. So we are getting like output as three. So what happened was we created a variable called let where three. Uh, this got hosted here and a function to print that value of the variable let where. But good thing is we, um, we the function was called in line number nine by the time which the variable let where was already defined or initialized. So we are, we are not having any problem uh, in printing this value. So the function, no function, keyword function defined with a uh, name f e n c knows what is let where and it is printing it. So there is no problem. Now let me do a small variation to this. Okay, I'm removing these comments because I'm kind of uh, gambling the code or moving the code to up and down. So those statements may not hold good. Tell me the output of this. This is the third question of the sna same snippet I'm asking. The reason I'm showing you this variation is you have to be very confident on this temporal dead zone concept so that once you watch my video, you will be able to answer any questions on temporal dead zone. Okay, if you know the answer again, comment it by mentioning the video time and your answer. You're getting a reference error cannot access func f e n c before initialization. So ideally you in the previous video you saw the function declared with the keyword f u function 
was getting hoisted but arrow functions are generally which are declared with the keyword const are not hoisted so we are trying to call a function which is not hoisted so you will not be able to call it from here okay you have to call it only below this okay this is another question arrow functions are not hoisted okay so now i am calling this function um, from the line number six this also i want you to guess this output as well okay now if you know please comment otherwise i will run the code for you so now i'm getting a reference error this is the temporal dead zone error where cannot access the variable let var before initialization we are trying to access the variable of let var even before it is getting initialized so this is a temporal dead zone error okay so i i showed you all the variations of it uh, what is going to happen and where the temporal dead zone starts and the where the temporal dead zone ends function uh, which functions are hoisted i mean the normal functions are hoisted the arrow functions are not hoisted so these are all the variations of the question that can be asked uh, uh, around temporal dead zone so please be sure of all these things okay now after since you are aware of all these things i'll go to the question number 2 this quietly uh, this is more on the quietly on the theoretical part okay why var hosting is present in javascript if you know the answer straight away go and uh, answer in the comment section if not listen to my video see i in the previous video i explained you what is hosting and what is variable hosting or variable declared with the keyword var you are getting hosted okay and they are also being uh, initialized is the value of undefined okay and variable declared with let and const are being hoisted but they are not declared with a variable of uh, value of undefined this question i have mainly taken here because after i want you to inculcate this culture where you start asking why for everything uh, for example now i explained you variable create with var keyword hoisted and the value is undefined uh, initialized to undefined but let and const are hoisted and, and value is not de defined to value is default value is not initialized to undefined why only variable created with var keyword are initialized now why not let and const okay only when you ask such questions in your mind you will be able to find out somewhere that on the internet and that that inquisitiveness inside you will make you to learn more okay this question is mainly taken on that purpose i got this question when i was learning hosting and the answer i found out on the internet is this the js creator uh, brendan once said that uh, var hosting thus an unintended consequence of function ho hosting no block scope js as a 1995 rest job so he basically mentioned this was not an intended job variable hosting was not something that was uh, intended hosting the variable and initializing it to undefined was happened during uh, during the rush on the release i believe it was not removed in the later terms because variable created var keyword has a global scope so they might have hosted they they kept uh, uh, since it is already accessible throughout a scope uh, they might have that undefined whatever they initialized was not removed okay this is what my assumption i did not get answer anywhere it will be great if you find somewhere the answer uh, why even it was, if it was a bug that was done in the rush for release why it was not removed if you find answer anywhere please mention that in the comment section okay this is question number two now question number three how hosting works in javascript if it is interpreted this is an, another interesting question this also you you have to ask yourself these questions will not come suddenly somewhere like no one will write answers to this right away so these are the questions that you have to come uh, come upon your own when you understand the topic and then you have to find the answers okay as you know javascript is interpreted interpreted means line by line okay log uh, x is okay so uh, javascript engine interpretation in general means uh, this line is executed then this line gets executed then the next line line by line execution it's not like entire program is taken as an input then it is compiled and given as output which happens in the compiled languages okay so here let's go with a var only so we are trying to access the variable x okay if it is an interpreted language where line by line execution happens how come like, where if you run this code we will get the value of undefined i mean x got hoisted okay like if it's a line by line execution how come line number six went up before line number five you hope you are understanding the question if it's an interpreted how hosting will work okay if you know the answer please uh, uh, put it in the comments but answer to this is uh, in, in the way how the javascript engine works okay javascript engine or the compilation happens in two steps like i already mentioned first step it scans the function allocates the memory in second step uh, where the actual execution happens okay 
but even thus doesn't answer how interpreter languages like javascript will get a capability of uh, concept of hoisting okay this basically happens because javascript compilers are not written in javascript they are written in some other programming languages like c++ let's take an example of google chrome which uses the javascript engine called v8 so v8 is written in c++ which is an object oriented programming language and it's a compiled language it's not interpreted so what happens is the entire javascript code that you wrote on google chrome is passed as an input to v8 engine and this v8 engine processes the code and it will execute the code in two steps which will give it a capability of concepts like hoisting even though javascript is interpreted because of the uh, reason where the compilers are written in some object oriented language or the compiled languages which have which can give a capability like hosting the it is available in javascript at the moment okay just as a javascript is always an interpreter language just because of the compilers we are getting the uh, just because of those compilers which have the capability of running the javascript in two steps so th that is the reason why we are getting the concept of hosting in javascript this applies to many other concept which an uh, interviewer could ask you how this works in javascript if it is interpreted for all those the reason is same because of the compiler capabilities it's not javascript it, itself a uh, javascript itself capability okay so this was the three question that i want to discuss in this video if you like the video please like it on youtube and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel uncommon geek okay and if you want me to make any video any particular video please mention that also in the comment i'll try to make that those videos for you thank you